Ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us. The site is the Baltimore Arena in Baltimore, where they are honoring the new horse added to the Baltimore City Police Department Foot Patrol, named after the Skipjacks. His name is Skipjack, being presented with a Skipjack blanket that is now being placed uh, over Skipjack by General Manager Coach Gene Ubriaco. It's tonight's American Hockey League Southern Division clash featuring the Baltimore Skipjacks and the resurgent Newmarket Saints. The referee tonight is Paul Stewart. The linesman Gary Madsen and Steve Miller. The starting line is for Newmarket. In goal to our left will be Jeff Reese, recently reassigned earlier today by Parent Club Toronto. Reese's 26th game, a record of 9, 12, and 3. A goals against average of 3.85. Reese against the Skipjacks this season making his fourth appearance. He's 2-1 with a goals against average of an even 4.00. They are now presenting the honorary jerseys to our two celebrity goaltenders tonight. Vince Braccielli, the famous jockey, and of course the very popular Channel 11 sportscaster Vince Bagley. And both are receiving their jerseys uh, before tonight's game from the Skipjacks organization and they will be our celebrity goaltenders tonight after the second period. We will continue with the starting lineups before the opening face-off for tonight's game between the Jacks and Newmarket. But first, let's pause as Master Sergeant Jack Briggs a cappella performs our national anthem. As we mentioned, Jeff Reese and Goldor left, starting for Newmarket. Opening on the defense for the Saints will be Cam Plant, along with Terry Johnson, the former NHL veteran with Calgary, as well as St. Louis and Toronto. The forward line at center, Tim Armstrong. On left wing, Gerard Goslin. And on right wing, Marty Dolman, who has 37 goals this season. He has four three-goal hat tricks and a league high 18 power play goals. He may be 
the fastest gun in the IAHL at this juncture of the season. For the Jackson goal to our right, Murray Batterman is 28th game. A record of 3.15 and four goals against a 4.58. Batterman in his second start against Newmarket. He is 1-0 oh with the goals against him at even 2.00. Dave Moreland and Claude Julian on the defense. The newcomer, Larry Palm on left wing. Center is Steve Sagan on right wing. Tim Driscoll from the faceoff. Jacks control their own line, Julian. Claude Julian lugs it up the left side at center, wrapping it in behind the Newmarket goal. Covering there is Reese. Now Reese had to poke it away from Sagan, lurking in the shadows behind him. Dug out left corner by Plonk, crunched by De Palma, squirms left corner. Dug out by Driscoll, center point for Julian. Dishing right corner for De Palma, he couldn't reach it with the extended stick. Dug out behind the goal by Johnson, jolted rudely by Driscoll, but covering on the new market left boards, Waslin. Gerard Waslin in the middle at center for Plon. Shy of the ball, the board line and right wing for Marty Dahlman, wrapping it in behind the goal. The Saints make an immediate change. Dug out left corner for the Jacks by Dave Boylan. Now Moylan skirts the checks of Armstrong and Waslin directing it behind the goal for Julian, who just rolls it into Newmarket territory. Tracked down by Clements in his own left corner. Up the boards in his own line for Captain Mark Curtin. Uh, head on left wing at center for the rookie Tim Bean, and that journeyed over two lines, being the Newmarket blue line and the center red line across the way from us, and the Saints are offside at the one-minute mark. First period action for the Baltimore Arena. The game is scoreless. The Jacks are winless in their last 13 starts, losing seven in a row and nine straight at home. The latter is a franchise record. Doug Shedden will center Terry Perkins on right wing and Keith Miller on left wing as the Jacks load up their guns on one line, their top guns. From the face of Wayne Gagne, center circle. Wrapping it in behind the new mark, a goal, Reese out of the goal, drove it to the line, Gagne penetrating on the right point to poke it back in behind the goal. Covering Stathers, checked by Perkins, seized in the corner by Shedden, he drove it to the crease, swept away by Reese. Dug out right boards by Miller. Miller right circle, shoots, and that was just wide. Rebound on the boards. Controlled by Perkins, bowled over by Laxdahl, but he delivered at left point for Albrecht. His rising shot knocked out in front by Clements, who drove it down ice right to the goaltender, Bannerman. Bannerman straight ahead at his own line for Doug Shedden. Shedden from center, shoots, and that was wide. Rebound behind the new market goal. Corral by Hotham angling it up on left wing at his own line for Tim Bean. In the middle at center for Anna Check. He fell trying to control. And from inside the Baltimore blue line, Bob Kennedy's lead pass in the middle at center traveled over two lines to Keith Miller. And once the latter received it, the Jacks are called on the two-line offside pass. No further play. Ten seconds shy of the two-minute mark. First period action for the Baltimore Arena. And the game is scoreless in the faceoff will occur barely inside the skipjack blue line across the way from us on their right wing. No endowment on the face of Marty Dahlman is skating two lines tonight. He's on right wing on one line and centering this line. Saints are down to eight forwards tonight. They're depleted with injuries. From the face of JF No at his own line, scampering up the right side at center, crossing the new market line, pulling up, try to slip it right circle for Armstrong, passed him to the goaltender Reese, who swept it around the left wing boards for Blad, clearing to center. Kennedy retreating with it. At the new market line for Ian Armstrong on right wing, back Kennedy behind the goal, tracked down by Blad Armstrong, giving pursuit. Now Brian Blad on right wing, left it on the boards there for Itacek. Miroslav Intercheck through center. At the Jacks line and left wing for Jarvis, deflecting high off his stick and behind the goal. Bannerman drove it to the line, right point, hopped them, shot right on. Bannerman kicked it to the left wing boards where it's corralled by Jim Hoover. Hoover at his own line, head manning it for JF No. No to center. No at the new market line. Checked from behind by Intercheck. Skids in behind the goal. Corral by Hotham, Jacks are changing. Hotham rounds the net on the left side. Drove it up on left wing at center for Jarvis over the ball to rely for Dolman squirming through the right circle. Jabbed off his stick beautifully by Moreland who rubbed out Dolman robustly in the right wing corner. Dave Moreland fires it down ice. Wrapping after it, Larry De Palma. He steals it behind the goal from Plot. Now De Palma right circle. Dishing side of the goal for Driscoll. Right in front for Moreland. He couldn't hold the pass. It was deflected off his stick over the glass into the crowd by Gerard Waslin. No further play. But Larry De Palma shows he's more than a rambunctious and pugnacious personality on the ice. He showed excellent acceleration and excellent burst of speed. 
as he just streaked behind the new market defense in hot puck pursuit, stealing the puck from Vaughn as he breezed by behind the new market goal. He played all last season with Minnesota, so he has that very precious National Hockey League experience, and that will certainly augment what has been a drab and dreary skipjack attack during this losing skid. From the faceoff, Cam Plant wheels in the right circle, this time escaping the check of DePalmo, who cracked him down from behind anyway as it squirms into the Baltimore zone. Controlled by Dave Moreland, steering into a new market territory. Cam Plant will control it on the right defense. His pass halted outside the line by Julian, who does a spin around up and controls it for Sagan. Sagan, right wing at the Newmarket line, sends Driscoll chugging it after it behind the goal. He was squeezed there by Johnson, and then there was a high stick from a skipjack player, Driscoll on Johnson. There'll be a Baltimore penalty coming up. Action is halted, and there will be a skipjack's penalty coming up at 3.54. The Jacks penalty box door swings open. I believe it was Larry De Palma and not Driscoll. De Palma making his mark early and leaving an indelible impression on Terry Johnson as he high-sticked Johnson after the ladder had a pinned Tim Driscoll deep in the offensive right wing corner. De Palma, two minutes for roughing at 3.54. He amassed an astronomical 215 minutes in penalties in 22 games with Kalamazoo this season. New Marcus power play ranks second best in the league. Lacks Jack's penalty killers are last in the circuit. Now Greg Hotham on right wing at center, and he rocketed a rising shot that skimmed off the top of the catching glove of Murray Bannerman, who was leaping from his skates to bring it down, and an ill-fated attempt as it disappears into the crowd off the top of Bannerman's glove, forcing a face-off left of him in the Jacks goal at the 408 mark first period. And the game is scoreless for the Baltimore Arena. De Palma, two minutes for roughing at 354. New market on the power play on this season are 77 for 308. That's 25%, second best in the league. They were two for four in their victory, 5-2 at Hershey last night. From the faceoff, one by Perkins and from the top of the left circle, that's Wayne Gagne to fire at Dowd Ice. Greg Otham, who's seven goals of 10 this season, have been on the power play, will control it. Right up the middle of his own line for Cam Plant. Plant dashing to center, upended rudely from behind by Perkins, but trailing Dahlman over the Baltimore line. Marty Dahlman left wing boards for Jarvis, who pulls up on the hash mark. Now West Jarvis holds behind the goal for Waslin. Waslin with 12 power play goals this season. Side of the goal for Jarvis, centered it. Center point, Plant fired over top of the net. Buck behind the goal, dug out by Jarvis. Now West Jarvis centered it. Hotham fired, that's high and wide as Hotham poured in from the right point. Dug out behind the goal again by Jarvis. He delivers it around the boards to the left point for Plant. Plant holds it in. Hold on the boards for Waslin. Waslin through the circle, shoots. Bannerman the save. Rebound dragged in behind the goal by Dahlman to the right wing boards for Jarvis. Jarvis comes off the boards, leaving right point for Hotham, loading the gun. Now Hotham still has it. Right circle for Dolman. Off his stick on the boards. Jostled there by Perkins who steals. Terry Perkins pirouettes and sweeps it down ice. 24 seconds for the power play. 14-30 for a score this opening period. At the new market line, Laxdahl is away, springing to center. At the Baltimore line, shooting right on. Stick save, Bannerman. A rebound is right in front and Julian falling to the ice, drove it into the new market zone. They'll control in front of the goal, Plant with five seconds left in the power play. Plant for Laxdahl, on right wing at center for Armstrong, who steps it over the Baltimore line, rolled it right in on goal, and Bannerman drove it past the onrushing Scott Clements, who was charging the crease all the way down ice, penalty over to De, to De Palma from behind the new market goal. Mike Stothers recently reassigned earlier today by Toronto, drove it all the way to the Jack zone. Keith Miller from behind the goal, drifts one to center zone. Hotham will control that at the Jacks line for Laxdahl. Leaving for Armstrong, top of the right circle. Overpowered by Kennedy, the two fall. Puck squirms to the goaltender, Bannerman, who kicks it over the glass into the crowd with Wes Jarvis cruising the crease for the Saints in a rather a formidable mood. No further play. A break of the action game, scoreless on the Skipjacks. Hockey Network.
play. Puck in front of the Jacks goal. Seized by Miller. Miller leads on right wing at center for Doug Shen who hits the new market line. Delivering it to the left wing boards for Perkins. Centered it. Blocked in front by Vlad before it reached Miller who is loading his gun. Miller to center on left wing for West Jarvis. Firing behind the Jacks goal. Covered on the left side by Hoover. Ramping it off the boards to center. Hotham controls. Stolen by Miller at the new market line for Perkins. He couldn't reach it. Back come the Saints. West Jarvis at his own line. Motors to center. He darts it over the ball to the line. Wheels to the right wing board. Swerving through the circle. Centered it. Right through the crease. All the way through to the left board. Where Johnson pinched in from the point to hold it in. But he was skated off by Perkins. Now Terry Perkins winds it up at his own line. Romping to center. Perkins at the new marker line. Fired. Johnson deflects that one harmlessly behind the goal. And goes in after it himself. But he's away. Johnson at his own line. Steaming to center. His pass halted at center by Julian. Julian up the right boards for Shedden. Shedden at the new market line. Checked by Armstrong. Tim Armstrong to center. Over the ball door line. Left circle. Try to roll one in front for Dolman. That mission aborted by Dave Moylan, who propels it down ice from the Jacks defense. Touched behind the goal by Terry Johnson. And the Jacks are charged for icing a break in the action. 12.07 left first period. Still scoreless on the skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Up left of Bannerman, Jack's goal, no controlled it for Julian, leading on right wing at his whole line for Armstrong. Rick White crisply on left wing at center for no and full flight. He drove it around the new market backboards, right corner for Armstrong, who drove it right through the crease. And on the scene, the cover was Clements. On right wing at center for Marty Dahlman, who dashes in over the ball to line, top of the circle. His shot was muffled by Moreland. Dave Boylan's clearing pass along the backboards, deflected over the glass and vanishes into the crowd deep in the Jacks' right wing corner. No further play. 11.42 remaining for first period action, and the game is scoreless, though the Saints have outshot the Jacks 6-1, to one, mainly through the emphasis of the game's only power play due to the Larry De Palma, a roughing penalty that occurred at 3.54. Saints have won three in a row, equaling their longest winning streak of the season, and all three victories have been produced against the divisional leaders. Two against Hershey, the Bears' only two setbacks in their last 12 games, and the other against Northern Division leading Fredericton, which will be here to furnish the Jacks' opposition for their next game, which will be here at the Baltimore Arena Sunday night at 7 o'clock on camera night. Everyone invited down to the ice after the game to snap photographs and gather autographs of their favorite Skip Jacks players. Face some of the meantime, circle right of Bannerman, Baltimore goal. J.F. No, who scored the Jacks' Last goal in the last 153 minutes in the face of lost and Bean right in front with a backhander. And Bannerman blocked that one beautifully. Rebound of the Jacks left wing circle. And Claude Julian just steers down ice. Controlled along the new market left wing boards by Mark Curtin sending it to the Jacks line. Julian controls. Now Claude Julian at center for Dave Moylan. Moylan rocks it over the new market line. He high steps it into the right wing corner. Rubbed out there robustly by Curtin. Dug out of the new market right corner by Stathers. Clearing to the line. Blocked by Julian right in front. Ferdo swept away by a recovering Mike Stathers to center. Julian retrieves there. Firing into the new market right corner. Claude Plon is there. Now Plon barely evades the check of Jacques Mayat. Leading in his own line for Curtin on left wing at center for Bean. He storms in over the ball to line along the board. Centered it. Blocked in front by Albrecht. Albrecht is away in the middle at center for Jacques Mayat. Mayotte just directs it into the new market left wing corner. 
Reese out of the goal to control it for Stathers, who's chased him behind the goal by Driscoll. Stathers drove it around his own right wing board into the skip jack zone. Covering on the left side, Albrecht across on the right defense for Gagne up the boards at center for Driscoll over the new market line right in front for Sagan. And it danced right off his stick as he was going right in on goal. Controlled by Jarvis. Now West Jarvis for the Saints at center. On uh, left wing for Blad, back for Jarvis who stepped into the ball to the line left at center point for Hoffman, trying to slip one in front for a streaking and a check. He was rubbed out by Gagne who forced him wide of the corner boards. Corralled in the Jacks left circle by Sagan there away. Rick one in right wing at center for Driscoll, he couldn't reach it. Sent back to center zone from the new market line on the left side by Brian Blad and once West Jarvis corralled it. The Saints are called on the two-line pass. No further play. 9.58 left opening period. The Jacks have been limited to a mere one shot on goal, but the game is scoreless. Murray Bannerman has been superlative thus far in the skipjack goal. The face out of the curb, barely above the rim of the circle. Left of Jeff Reese, who was reassigned earlier today along with Mike Stothers to the Saints from Parent Club Toronto. Reese has been responsible for both of Newmarket's victories against the Jacks this season. Jacks have a winning record against the Saints at 3-2-2. Two two. From the face of Miller, fired from the top of the slot over top of the net, and the puck slithered off the glass to the right side of the crease, and Reese plopped on top of that one immediately. Keith Miller, and he can really unleash some cannonading drives. He was a 50-goal marksman last season with Guelph, and the OHL Junior A. Miller's second game back. He was injured in Newmarket back on November 10th after he had notched a goal and an assist in that game. The Jacks eventually bowed seven to six. That was their only defeat in four ventures, uh, four adventures in Newmarket this season. He is a reputed sharpshooter, Keith Miller. From the face of Dalman Bess Perkins, controlled in front of the Newmarket goal by Plon. Angling it up on left wing at center for Waslin. It bounced away from him all the way in behind the Jacks goal. Bannerman out of the goal, drove it around the left wing boards for Miller. Rink on right wing at center for Terry Perkins. Beyond him all the way to the new market line. Waslin just cushions the puck to the skip jack zone. Controlled by Shedd. Leaving it on the right wing board, still inside the Baltimore line for Kennedy, who redirects it out of harm's way behind the goal for Tim Hoover. Now Hoover leads on right wing in his own line for Perkins beyond him to center, but seized by Miller. Miller at the new market line, shoots right on, and re-squeezes that one in the chest area. No further play as Keith Miller again really uncorked a cannonading drive just as he stepped in over the new market line on left wing. He had seized the elusive puck that had been mishandled by the new market defense at the center red line. 9-12 left first period, game scoreless. That was the Jacks' second shot on goal. Face off will develop circle right of Reese in the new market goal. The first of only two games for a second consecutive week for the Jacks. They'll be home Sunday night at 7 entertaining Fredericton. Jacks, due to a quirk in the schedule, idle both Friday and Saturday nights this week as this extended 10-game homestand continues. This is game four of the homestay. From the faceoff, J.F. No behind the goal. Rolled it in front. Blocked by Stothers before it reached the waiting Ian Armstrong. And Stothers rolls it to the Baltimore line. Controlled by Mayak. Cross ice on right wing at center for Ian Armstrong. Firing it into the new market zone. Reese out of the goal. Around the boards himself on right wing at his own line for Captain Mark Kirk. Curtain glides to center, snapped it in behind the Jacks goal. Digging it after it has been rubbed out at the backboards by the crunching check of Armstrong. Now Ian Armstrong will start out. Rink wanted left wing at center for Dave Moreland. Moreland drove it into the new market left corner. Curtain covers the camera ahead of the onrushing J.F. No. Up the boards for Bean. Bean at his own line for Stothers, curling back in front of the goal to reorganize. Stothers from the new market defense on the right side for Hotham. Hopham lugs it to center, floating it in behind the skipjack goal. Tracked down by Albrecht, rounding the net on the right side, up on right wing at his own line for Driscoll, and Tim Driscoll just banked it off the boards into Newmarket territory. Covering in front of the goal is Brian Blad. Blad's pass seized at center by Gagne, who anticipated. He steps it over the Newmarket line, swept off his stick neatly by Jarvis, and Wes Jarvis just rolls it all the way back into the front of the Jacks goal. 
controlled by Albrecht. He drove it around the board. Seized right corner there, though, by Jarvis. Jarvis wheels in behind the goal, centered it. All the way back to center point for Blatt, who holds it in. Blatt along the right wing boards for Inacek. Inacek was cracked by Sagan. He really spins off the Sagan. Check and bolted in front before he finally lost control to Albrecht. And Albrecht sends it to center. Blad fires back into the jack zone and Gagne controls. In the middle at center, he threads it for Sagan. Oh, the new Marco Lafferty to Palma. Muscled along the boards by Johnson. Squirms in behind the goal, digging it out. Driscoll leaving it there for De Palma. Really jolted Johnson as he tried to center one in front. But on the scene to cover was Clements. Clements says in a check on his way to center. Miroslav in a check over the ball to eye. Working on Gagne, who really thumped him. Puck contained, though, on the right point by Plot. Plot right in front for Waslin. Broken up by De Palma. He explodes to center over the new market line for Sagan. Sagan delivers it right corner for Perkins. It was behind him. Perkins, though, right in front for Sagan. Center point for Hoover. He's off balance. Forced to drive it into the corner. Reese is out of the goal, and he drove it over the glass into the crowd, and he'll receive a penalty. Jeff Reese scaled it off the glass into the crowd. And there will be a new market penalty to the goaltender Reese for delay of game at 13-18. And the Jacks will be presented their first power play of the night. Their power play is 0 for 25 of the last six games. A break in the action. We're still scoreless on the Skip Jacks Hockey Network. Tape, what happened to the... Oh, okay. Save this tape. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live with the Baltimore Arena. Jeff Reese, a two-minute minor for delay of game being served by Gerard Waslin at 13-18. Jacks are over 25 on the power play in their last six games, and for the season, the Jacks are 65 for 312, 20.3%. They scored 72 on the power play last season. Perkins won the faceoff right point for Julian. Left point for Albrecht with a shot, and Perkins in front deflected it right on. Stick save Reese. Rebound to the right point for Julian. Into the circle for Miller. Back for Julian and back for Miller in the right circle. Down low into the corner for Perkins. Terry Perkins wheels off the boards into the circle. Does a spin around and pulls up. Slipping it into the right corner for Keith Miller. Miller to the right point for Julian. Julian in the circle for Miller right in front for Perkins. Didn't make it through. Interrupted in front by the anticipation of Cam Plant, who fires it down ice. 116 for the power play. Cliff Albrecht, the former Newmarket Saint behind the goal, leads for Doug Shedden across that left wing at center for Julian in full flight. Julian wrapping it in behind the goal. Reese out of the goal, scales it around the glass into the crowd, deflecting off the right shoulder of Doug Shedden, who was lurking in the shadows in the right corner in an ill-fated attempt to knock down that Jeff Reese uh, uh, fluttering, uh, clearing pass. Still 103 for the power play. 545 for the opening period. And the game is scoreless from the Baltimore Arena. The Jacks have not scored on the power play in their last six games, spanning 25 uh, fruitless and futile opportunities. They're 8 for 83 in their last 20 games. That's a proficiency of a rather anemic 9.6% completion. From the faceoff, controlled in the new market zone, right in front of the goal, above the left hash mark. Greg Hotham lassos it, and he sends it down ice. Now Claude Julian from behind the goal, leaves for Shedden, circling the net on the right side. Doug Shedden at his own line, gathering speed at center. He hits the new market line, right wing boards pulling up. Shedden to the right point for Julian. Left point for Albrecht. Right point for Julian in the circle for Shedden. Left point for Albrecht with a shot. It's loose in front, comes back to Albrecht, sprawling for it, left point. Poked away by Jarvis. Jarvis wheels at center. West Jarvis over the ball to the line. Along the left wing board, swooping in behind the goal. Skated off by Julian. 17 seconds for the power play. Control behind the Jacks goal by Cliff Albrecht. Now Albrecht at his own line to center. His pass halted at the new market line by Johnson. 
His breakaway pass traveled two lines for Tim Armstrong, who was behind the skipjack defense. No further play on the two-line offside pass. Saints have registered four short-handed goals this season, the fewest in the league. The Jacks have allowed 17 short-handed goals against. That's the most allowed in the league. Still seven seconds for the power play. Face up will originate barely inside the new market blue line below us on the Jacks' left wing. Jacks have scored only one goal in the last 186 minutes. That's three games and six minutes complete. In that span, they have not scored more than one goal in a game in their last five games. In fact, in one of those games, they were shut out. From the faceoff, collected in front of the new marker, goal by Mike Stothers. He rifles it off the left wing boards, down ice. Bannerman charges after it, and it is open left circle, and Dolman had it stripped from his stick. Brilliant leave, I know, as Bannerman was really gambling. The penalty in the meantime is over. Saints back at full strength. Puck deep in the Jacks' right wing corner. Bannerman steps out himself again. Drove it around the boards. Contained right point by Johnson as he was jolted by Mayotte. Johnson drove it in behind the goal. Hoover will cover. Now Tim Hoover angles it up on right wing at center. Armstrong behind him. And Mike Stothers rushed across. And he launches a rocket into the crowd. And a gentleman in a charcoal gray trench coat about eight rows up, seated on the aisle. Grab that one, and now we have a disturbance right at center circle. In the middle of it, for the Saints, was Terry Johnson, their ruffian customer. And for the Jacks, Ian Armstrong was on the scene, their most penalized player. As was Bob Kennedy and Chuck Brimmer, the latter seeing his first shift of the night. Charlie Meitner deactivated tonight for the Skipjacks. Say, we want to remind you that home team sports Jeff Rimmer will be our special guest live. That's coming up at our first intermission tonight. So please stay tuned for that. Always great to have Jeff with us. Great hockey uh, fan, a uh, great hockey reporter, and even a greater a uh, skipjack supporter here in the community. And we're looking forward to having Jeff with us in our first division. He can be seen on all the Washington Capitals home team sports telecast throughout the season. All ready to go. Face off will be center red line across the way from us on the skipjack right wing. 4-13 left at a scoreless opening period. From the face of it, rolls into the new market zone. Tracked down in front of the goal by Stothers. Across on the right wing boards for Plon. Up the boards at center for Miroslav and Jack. He'll fire high and wide of the goal. It skims into the ball to right corner. Clements is on it, slipping it behind the goal for Jarvis. Jarvis wheels to the right wing board, shoots right on. Bannerman the save. There'll be a Jacks penalty coming up as Dave Boylan dumped in a check to the left side of the skip jack crease near the side of the goal along the goal line. And Moylan will be charged with a two-minute minor for tripping late in the period at the 16-09 mark. A break of the action. New market second power play of the night. The game's still scoreless on this Skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Skip Jacks penalty at number nine, Dave Moylan. Two minutes for tripping. Time to penalty, 16-09. Now from the face up, puck in front of the skip jacks goal. It's Claude Julian to corral it, and he just rifles it down ice. Covering in front of the goal for the Saints is Plot leading on right wing at center for Greg Hoffman, drove it in behind the Jacks goal. Julian is there again, and Claude Julian rockets it around the right wing boards, down ice one more time. Reese behind the goal, steps out. He slipped it away from the onrushing Terry Perkins bearing down on him. Up the boards at his own line for Dahlman on the left side. Marty Dahlman zooming in over the Baltimore line, leaves it left point for the trailer. Plot, his pass stolen by Hoover. Hoover at center for Gagne, two on one with the new market line. Gagne right in front for Perkins with a shot, a sprawling save by Reese as he halted the Perkins bid shorthanded at point blank range. Covering behind the goal is Dolman as Gagne was spilled in the offensive left circle by Plant. 
Now Dolman on left wing at center for Jarvis over the ball and line right in front for Dolman and a jump dump is sticking to the crease and Bannerman scoops it up with the Saints player breezing by the doorstep and Don and uh, Bannerman responding to that by hoisting his stick high as if in a mood to perhaps uh, shish kebab Derek Laxdahl who was cruising the crease in a somewhat tormenting fashion. 2.48 for the opening period and 57 seconds remaining in the Boylan penalty for tripping at 16.09. Face off circle right of Bannerman. He's been razor sharp in this opening period for the Jacks. Sagan and Armstrong on the face off. All ready to go, waiting for the linesman. Still waiting. Sticks come down. One by Sagan. Dug out right corner by Albrecht. The former Newmarket Saint clears the line. Stothers pinches in, though. Stothers into the corner for Waslin, leaving it there for Stothers. Stothers around the backboard to the right corner for Inichek. Inichek pulls up right hash mark. He holds. Now Inichek slipping it in behind the goal for Waslin. Centered it. Plot right in front for Inichek with a shot. Bannerman the save. Rebound left side of the goal. Sagan fires it past Plot at the right point. All the way down ice. Reese behind the goal. Hides it away from the on-rushing ever-present Larry De Palma. Right in front of the goal for Plot In the middle at center for Armstrong. He reaches the Jacks line. How oh, he leaves it on the right boards for Inichek. Giving it back to Armstrong. And back for Inichek in the right wing corner. Behind the goal crisply for Tim Armstrong. Now Armstrong trying to center one into the crease. Knocked back behind the goal by Bannerman. Meant for Waslin. Waslin will control behind the goal as Boylan is back on. Now Waslin leaves it right corner for Inichek. Opposite corner for Waslin. He chases after but Moylan is there. Moylan drags it with his skate up the right boards for De Palma. Now De Palma at center for Sagan. Steve Sagan from center shoots right on. The save by Reese. That rocket was rising. Controlled along the right wing boards by Inichek. 128 for the period. Inichek across the left wing at center for Stothers. Steering to the Jacks line. Controlled by Kennedy. His breakaway pass meant for Miller at center zone. Was halted by Stothers, who just lifts one over the glass into the crowd. No further play. A break on the action. 120 left first period. The game scoreless. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Ball DeVore Skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live for the Baltimore Arena. We're scoreless in the opening period. The Saints have outshot the Jacks 8-6, but the Jacks now have blanked the opponents on their last 10 power play opportunities, including the first two for the Saints here tonight. Now from the faceoff, Puck just skips into the Baltimore zone. Digging it out behind the goal, Bannerman as he charged out again. Around the left wing boards for Bannerman for Shedd. Doug Shedd with a minute left. In the middle at center for Bob Kennedy. He drifts one in behind the Newmarket goal. Reese out of the goal this time. Scales it around the glass. Halted at the right point by Kennedy pinching in. Now Kennedy tried to poke one in front. Halted by a falling. Tim Bean who sends it to center. Where Tim Hoover on left wing. Floats it in front of the Newmarket goal. Covering it at his landing point there is Johnson. Johnson on left wing at center for Bean. And Bean's shot disappears over the glass into the crowd. Behind the Skipjack's goal. No further play. 35 seconds remaining in a scoreless opening period from the Baltimore Arena, and the faceoff will originate outside the Skipjack blue line across the way from us on their right wing. And again, we want to remind you, home team sports Jeff Rimmer will be our special guest live. That's coming up at our first intermission tonight. Steve Sagan and Tim Armstrong on the faceoff. From the faceoff at the center red line on left wing, Brian Blad wrapped it in behind the Jack school. Covering his boil and dishing right corner boards for Julian. And Claude Julian just flutters one all the way down ice. They'll negate icing. Covering behind the goal for the Saints is Plant. Up on left wing at his own line for Waslin. Gerard Waslin backhands into the Jack zone. Dave Moylan will control it behind the goal. Up on left wing at his own line for Jacques Mayotte. Now Mayotte up the boards at center for Sagan. Giving it back to Mayotte who reaches the new market line. Overpowered from behind by Dolman as the horn sounds. Signifying the conclusion of the first period here at the Baltimore Arena in Baltimore. You asked for it, guys. You got it. <laughs> Terry 
Pirelli rejoining you live from the Baltimore Arena. We're all set for a second period action. It's the Jacks nothing and Newmarket nothing. The Jacks have not scored a goal in the second period in their last six games. In fact, it's been rare when they've scored a, peer, uh, scored a goal period in a period. It'll be Murray Bannerman and Goldor left, and uh, Jeff Reese and Goldor right as you look into your radios. From the faceoff, second period action underway. Terry Johnson at his own line on the left defense. Pinballed one in off Bannerman. Bannerman does just to the right circle for Julian. Rink wide at his own line for Mayotte. Mayotte at center for no shooting right on. Nabbed by Reese. Dropped it off beyond the goal for Johnson. Surrounded by Noah Armstrong who steals through. Ian Armstrong rolled it right through the open side of the crease. It's still loose in front. Mayak couldn't reach it. He was cracked from behind by Tim Armstrong. Puck snakes to the left point. Moylan fired to the front of the goal. Cut off there by Johnson. Contained right circle by Ian Armstrong. This shot marshmallowed with a whimper in front. Roll down ice from there by Camp Lott to the goaltender Bannerman. And Murray Bannerman himself drove it down ice. His counterpart, Reese, behind the goal will hide it away from the onrushing J.F. No. In front of the goal for Plant. On right wing at center for Inacek. Inacek drove it around the skipjack backboards. All the way left corner for Clements. Checked by Gagne. Now Gagne steers it up on left wing in his own line for Cliff Albrecht. Albrecht romps to center. Shoots. That one was deflected by Stothers harmlessly into the new market right corner. Where it's corralled by Hotham. Around the boards at left wing for Clements, stolen at the line by Gagne, right in front for Miller, and it was behind him. Back come the Saints. Jarvis to center. At the Jacks line on left wing for Scott Clements, who pulls up with a spinorama and drove it in behind the goal, where Cliff Albrecht fires it off the left wing boards for the Jacks, all the way down to ice. Stylers on the touch behind the Saints goal, and the Jacks are charged for icing at the 137 mark for second period action, and the game is scoreless from the Baltimore Arena. And again, our many thanks to Jeff Bremer. He's a, a very dear friend as well. And certainly uh, one of the uh, one of the premier sportscasters in our area. Even though he walked off with all of our dinners. <laughs> oh boy. Face off left of Bannerman in the Jack School. It'll be Doug Shedden for the Jackson Mark Curtin for the Saints on the faceoff. Sticks come down. One by Shed. Directs it behind the goal for Gagne. Around the right wing boards for Driscoll. Checked by Blant. Pinching it from the point. Centered it. Bean shot. Deflected over top of the net by Albrecht. Laxdahl leans on Miller, but Miller overpowers him in the left corner, and he's away. Miller breaks out the center at the new marker line. Good scores! Keith Miller, 1-0 Skipjack. that Keith Miller can really unleash some cannonading drives. And was it vividly illustrated there? Guns a-blazing, a rooftop rocket from the blue line on left wing. Miller's third, two of them against the Saints. Miller unassisted at 157. Keith Miller's third, his second against the Saints, and it's one nothing Jacks. And from the face-off, the puck was frozen in the Jack zone, and that'll produce a face-off circle right of Murray Bannerman. We saw Keith Miller several times last season playing for Guelph in the OHL Junior A on several of our expeditions to Canada, and we were very impressed with his cannonading drive. He scored two goals one night on shots identical to that one here tonight. Now Steve Sagan to center, barrels in over the new market line, dishing right corner for Larry De Palma. Now De Palma to the right point for Kennedy, top of the slot for De Palma, swept off his stick by Tim Armstrong, sending it to center, where Tim Hoover rockets it right back in behind the new market goal. Tracked down by Mike Stothers. Now Stothers up on left wing in his own line for Tim Armstrong, off his stick to center, controlled by De Palma at the new market line, checked by Stothers. Covering up on the Newmarket defense is Hotham. On right wing at center for Dolman off his extended stick over the glass into the crowd at the Baltimore blue line across the way from us 
no further play. That was along the offensive right wing boards with 17-10 remaining for a second period action. And it's 1-0 Skipjacks. Keith Miller on a blue line blast from left wing. And I'll tell you, he rattled that one upstairs. It was a ringing shot just barely underneath the crossbar. Mesa will be barely outside the Skipjack line. Incidentally, the Keith Miller goal marks the first time in seven games that the Skipjacks have scored the game's first goal. Six of their eight victories this season after they've scored the first goal. Now from the face of along the Baltimore right wing boards, Armstrong checked by Johnson is really barging in from the point to force the issue. He's in the corner with Julian and the referee Stewart and Stewart is being scissored by Julian and Johnson. And needless to say, that really expedited the whistle. Mr. Stewart was very quick on the toot when uh, Julian and Johnson, two heavyweights, were tangling truculently in the corner, and they had uh, Mr. Stewart ready to, uh, they were ready to symbol clap him into an accordion. Now from the face up on the left point, Terry Johnson wrapped it in behind the goal for Jarvis. Jarvis sanded it right in front, in a check fired. Great save, Bannerman, he robbed him at the edge of the crease. The puck squirms behind the goal. Moylan is on it. Around the right wing boards for Julian across on left wing at center for Mayotte. He didn't expect it. And he loads him in behind the goal. Tracked down by Cam Plant. Straight up the middle at his own line for Jarvis. Beyond him right to Bannerman. Directing it behind the goal for Julian. Pulling up at the backboards to escape the clutches of Jarvis. On left wing for Mayotte with the referee Stewart falling over Mayotte's stick. And the puck just skimmed to the new market zone. Controlled by Scott Clements. Up the left boards at center for Jarvis at the Jacks line. Jarvis shoots right on. Bannerman the save. He drove the rebound up on left wing over two lines to J.F. No. And inadvertently sent his own player, J.F. No. Or pardon me, Jacques Mayotte tumbling to the ice. And Mayotte is crumpled in a heap deep in the Baltimore left wing corner. Bannerman and Mayotte collided as Bannerman again charged from the crease. He's been very aggressive in a very adventuresome spirit around that Baltimore goal crease tonight. Mayotte was there as well as uh, to offer Bannerman assistance on the rebound uh, control. And it was Bannerman who inadvertently uh, collided with Mayotte and deposited Mayotte in a sprawling fashion deep in the Baltimore left corner. And trainer Dave the Bear Sherrod has hustled to the scene. He has our vision partially obscured, but it appears that the Skipjack's medicine man may be checking on Mayotte's right knee. Mayotte is back in a seated position in the right corner, and they appear to be flexing that right leg. This occurring at the 3.57 mark of the second period, and the Jacks have claimed a one nothing lead on the Keith Miller blue line Roman Candle that he blistered at the 157 mark. Mayotte will skate in a very gingerly like fashion back to the Jacks bench, flexing his right knee en route. Jack Mayotte has accrued 41 penalty minutes in his first two games as a skipjack after amassing an outlandish 706 minutes last season with Rilewski in the Quebec Senior League. He had 138 minutes of 28 games with Fredericton this year, including two goals and six assists before being reassigned by Quebec. Still eight Quebec Nordiques players gracing the Jacks roster. Now from the faceoff, center circle, Mark Curtin, the new market captain, wrapped it in behind the Jacks' goal. Albrecht rounds the net in a hurried fashion on the right side. At center for Driscoll. Rink wanted left wing for Keith Miller. He drove it into the new market right wing corner. Charging after it is Driscoll. He was met head on there on the defense by Blad. Controlled by Bean, but Bean at his old line tripped Gagne, who was pinching in from the point for the Jacks, and he'll be chased. Tim Bean, the rookie from North Bay. Two minutes for tripping at 425, and the Jacks power play which has been fruitless in 26 consecutive opportunities, presented a glorious opportunity here to extend their one nothing lead. 
15, two minutes for tripping at 425. The face-off will be at the origination of the Tim Bean trip of Gagne, barely inside the Newmarket line on the Jacks' right wing. That's the offensive right wing. Perkins and Curtin on the face-off. Newmarket's penalty killing is ranked second to last in the league. Only the Skipjacks' penalty killing is worse than theirs. From the face-off, collected on left wing at center by Gagne, across for Shedd, who penetrates at the new market line, ran into his own player Miller at the top of the circle, with Shedd going down, and it's fired down ice by the anticipating Mike Stollers. Covering behind the goal is Albrecht, leaving for Shedd, rounding that on the left side, slipping it in front of the goal for Albrecht, up the middle sharply at center for Keith Miller, who hits the new market line. Now Miller wheels to the left wing boards and pulls up. Left at left point for Albrecht, into the corner for Shedden, off his stick. Johnson is there, surrounded by Perkins and Shedden. It's Perkins to pry it loose. To the left point for Albrecht with a shot, and he fired it wide. Rebound all the way to the right point for Gagne to hold it in. Entangled by Curtin, who steals. And Mark Curtin sends it to the Jacks line. Bannerman himself headmans it on left wing at center for Albrecht, crossing the Newmarket line. Cliff Albrecht drove it around the backboard, but there's no skipjack player on that open wing. Marty Dahlman is there instead, and he fires it down ice. 50 seconds for the power play. Albrecht at his own line, leading at center for Doug Shedden, who romps in over the new market line. Left at center point for Miller. Miller shoots over top of the net. Rebound all the way to the right point for Gagne. Gagne right in front for Shedden. Back to the left point for Albrecht. Left circle for Perkins. Now Perkins center point for Gagne. Left point for Albrecht. Anticipated by Dolman who directs it to center. Forcing Albrecht to just fire it aimlessly back into the new market zone in the Saints are away. Brian Blatt in his own line to center. Drove it in behind the Jacks goal. 15 seconds for the power play. As Claude Julian is underway at his own line for the Jacks. Gathering speed at center. Accelerates in over the new market line. Shoots right on. Read the save and he smothers the rebound with Larry DePalmo, along with Steve Sagan and Chuck Brimmer, all converging at the crease in a very lusty fashion. 13.40 left middle period. Five seconds remaining in the bean penalty. The Skipjacks have not scored a power play goal in 425 minutes and 55 seconds. That is in excess of seven games. My, oh my, talking about a severe power outage. The Jacks' power play has been dark for a long time. Face-off circle left to Freeze, new market goal. Sagan won it, top of the circle for Brimmer. Center point for Julian, and Claude Julian, with a bouncing puck to contend with, failed to hold it in. And Julian just glares at the helmeted linesman Steve Miller, and that glare and that stare perhaps said a thousand words. Julian apparently claiming that he had contained that kangarooing puck. In the meantime, the Skipjacks goal getter, uh, Keith Miller, is departing. He has disappeared down the corridor to the Baltimore dressing room without trainer Dave Sherrod. And we'll find out if there's something wrong physically with Keith Miller. It may only be a, an equipment adjustment. Now from the faceoff, penalty is over to Bean. Puck behind the Newmarket goal. Controlled by Hotham, around the boards on left wing at his own line for Bean. At center for Mark Curtin, back for Bean over the Baltimore line from the left boards. He fired. Bannerman took that one off the waffle board. Deflects into the Baltimore right corner, covering up Brimmer. Steering it up on right wing at center for a high-stepping Larry De Palma. He swoops it over the Newmarket line, spilled in the circle there. On the defense by the new market player, Stathers, who was rubbed out along the boards by Sagan robustly. Sagan tried to roll one in front for De Palma. Blocked by Curtin. He's at center at the Baltimore line. Right circle for Lockstall with a shot. Right on. Oh, and Bannerman grabs that one on the short side with Lackstall. And the skipjack player, Moylan, tumbling head over heels into the skipjack backboards. A break of the action, 12.56 left. Second period, Jacks won. Saints nothing on the skipjacks. Hockey Network.
Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live from the Baltimore Arena. Keith Miller has returned to the Skipjack dressing room to have that injured ankle, that the repaired ankle retaped. He'll be back. Face on the left of Bannerman, and he's been solid in the Jacks' goal tonight. What a rock of Gibraltar thus far. Deep in the left corner, no for the Jacks. Turns it over to Jarvis. He just directs it aimlessly behind the goal. Bannerman steps out again. His pass sees left corner by Inacek. Inacek checked by uh, J.F. No. No up the left boards for a recovered Jacques Mayotte. He backhands to center where Scott Clements whipped it back in behind the Baltimore goal. Hoover controls. Dishing right corner for Kennedy. Kennedy staples Jarvis to the board as he headbands it on right wing at his whole line for Armstrong. At center for Mayotte, who springs out of the pack over the new market line into the right corner. He was forced wide there by uh, Plant. Now Cam Plant in the middle at center for Jarvis on right wing for Inacek. That was halted by Hoover, who sends it in behind the new market goal from left wing. Covering up his plot right up the middle at his own line for Wes Jarvis, who zooms to center at the Baltimore line. Skidded off by Albrecht, trailing Clements on the right boards. Jolted by Gagne, who spun him around as it skids in behind the goal, and Noah's on it. Now J.F. No for the Jacks, hurries into the straightaway at center. Crossing the new market line, pulls up on the left boards. Sends Mayotte chasing it down in the corner. Mayotte centered it. Blocked in front by Stylers before it reached Driscoll. Stylers at center for Jarvis, stolen by Driscoll. Now Tim Driscoll over the new market line for J.F. No, no wheels left at left point for Ulbrich with a shot. Reese to save the rebound in front. Driscoll fired, pad save Reese. Back come the Saints. Exploding to center is Tim Armstrong. Over the Baltimore line, right wing board, centered it. Right in front, Waslin was checked by Gagne. Deep in the Jacks left corner. J.F. Noah is there to corral it, and he sweeps it down ice for temporary relief. Bland to reach it beyond the new market goal, and the Jacks are charged for icing a break of the action. 11-10 left, second period, Jacks won, Saints nothing. On the skip, Jacks, Hockey Network. Ficarelli rejoining you live from the Baltimore Arena. 11-10 left, middle period. Keith Miller's goal at 157. An early strike on a lightning bolt shot from the blue line at left wing. The game's sole goal. From the faceoff, Brimmer wanted from Marty Dahlman. Behind the goal for Gagne. Rounding that on the right side with Waslin draped over his back. Gagne on right wing at center for Shedden at the new marker line. Shoots the save by Reese. The rebound in front and Brimmer was wrapped up by Hoffman. Back come the Saints. Tim Armstrong at center. Over the Baltimore line of right wing for Dahlman. Spun around by Shedden, who came back neatly. Controlled along the Jacks' left circle by Albrecht. Now Cliff Albrecht across on right wing at center for Driscoll over the new market line for Shedden, the trailer. He was really crunched along the boards by Dahlman, but it was Dahlman who fell. Controlled by the Saints at their own line. Waslin at center behind Gagne over the Baltimore line. Waslin through the circle, right in on goal. Centered it instead. And Doug Shedden raced back and blocked that one beautifully. Now Shedden for the Jacks is away at his own line. At center for Driscoll. Beyond his outstretched stick on right wing. Behind the new market goal controlled there by Hoffman. Up on right wing at center for Tim Armstrong. And he eludes him behind the Jacks goal. Where it's tracked down by Moreland. Rounding the net on the right side. Dave Moylan leads on left wing at center for Larry De Palma crossing the new market line. Charging in behind the goal. Leaving it there for Perkins. Thumped by Bland, but stolen left circle by Moylan pinching in. Moylan into the corner for Perkins. Rolled it in front. Right off the stick of Sagan. Back come the Saints at center. Bean over the ball board line. Right in front for Kirk with a shot. Bannerman the save. The rebound in front. Laxdahl fires. Spectacular save by Bannerman. Back come the Jacks to Palma to center over the new market line with a shot. And Larry to Palma blazed one over top of the net. The puck all the way back to the center zone. Controlled by Moreland. 
over the Newmarket line for De Palma, who bowled over Vlad the two fall. Trailing is Perkins. He steps in over the Newmarket line through the left circle, right in front for Sagan. It was behind him. Contained on the right point by De Palma, the trailer. Larry De Palma behind the goal for Sagan. Squeezed by Curtin. Curtin delivers it around the right wing boards in his whole line for Armstrong. Now Armstrong at center, relaxed all through his legs, seized there by Hoover. Hoover over the new market line, right circle for a second. He fanned on the shot. Puck along the left wing boards. Saints will control it there. Sent the center by Bean from center. Mayotte for the Jacks, drove it into the new market zone. Set back the center for the left defense by Vlad. Controlled by Ian Armstrong over the new market line from the right circle. Armstrong shoots. And Vlad deflects that one over the glass into the crowd. A break of the action. 8.37 left second period. Still the Jacks one and Newmarket nothing on the skip jacks. Hockey Network. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live from the Baltimore Arena. 8.37 remaining for a lively second period. It's 1-0 Jacks. No one the face of Kennedy from the right point. Great in front for no. He's got the goal. Stay up no. Jacks lead 2-0. Second unanswered goal of the night, and in this period, at 11:26, playing the face-off circle left of Jeff Reese, guided it to the right point for Bob Kennedy. No, then penetrated behind the defense to the doorstep, and Bob Kennedy laser beam one there, and no deep the goaltender Reese sprawling from the crease and streamlined home a sleek wrist shot. Knows 12th is third against Newmarket from Kennedy to 11 26. It's 2 0 Jacks. Now Hoover behind the goal, drafted off for Kennedy. Kennedy for the right side of the goal, that is whole line for Ian Armstrong. At center, Ferno. That one whispered, halted by Clemens, who drove it into the Baltimore right corner. Hoover will control his clearing pass, deflected off Scott Clemens, who was uh, bearing down along the left wing boards, lying in wait. And it deflects over the glass into the crowd. But I believe the uh, referee, Stewart, will rule that it deflected off a skipjack player. I think that he may be wrong in his appraisal of the situation. Nose 12 from Kennedy to 11.26. J.F. Doe, after being goalless in 10 games, has now accounted for two of the three, uh, two of the last three Jack schools. Face off right of Bannerman, and Bannerman has just been brilliant tonight. All ready to go, Brimmer and Dalman on the faceoff. Waiting for the linesman. Keith Miller is back on. Won by the Skipjacks, Brimmer. Behind the goal, corralled by Albrecht. Now Albrecht surrounded by Armstrong and Waslin. Just clears on right wing at center for Brimmer, who thunders it over the new market line. Into the circle, he upended. Plunt poking it behind the goal for Keith Miller. Miller right in front for Brimmer, caught in his skates. Dug out though behind the goal by Shedden, who centered one. Halted in front by Bland. Bland at center for Waslin. He drove it in behind the Baltimore goal. He digs it after it, skated off by Gagne. Gagne around the right wing boards for Brimmer. Blocked by Plunt. Plunt behind the goal for Waslin. Side of the goal for Armstrong. Right in front for Dolman to the crease for Armstrong and he scores! Tim Armstrong and the Jacks lead is sliced in half to two to one. Well, Chuck Brimmer just did not play the puck when it was passed to him at the right wing boards. He made a rather nonchalant effort for it and that kept the play alive in Skipjack territory at 12.48, just 1.22 after no had connected for the Jacks. 
We've seen that too often this season. The opponents roaring right back. And the Jacks lead melts to two to one. And the Skipjacks again committing a gap in their own zone. Tim Armstrong with his 15th goal of the season. I believe that's his first against the Jacks. Marty Dahlman and Gerard Waslin the assist. Now from the faceoff, Steve Sagan breaks out of the pack on left wing at center from the new market line. His shot deflected in behind the goal by Terry Johnson. Dug out right corner by De Palma. Centered it. Oh, and whirling in front for the point was a Moreland blocked by Bean. Bean to center over the ball over the line. Hold it right in on goal. And a rising snow spray at the crease. Bannerman swept it out of harm's way behind the goal for Julian. Dishing to the left boards for Moreland. Dave Moreland in the middle at center for Sagan. Couldn't hold the pass, but Moreland trails. Moreland to center over the new market line on right wing in the circle for Sagan, who wheels in front to the doorstep for Moreland. He shoots the scores! Dave Moreland, Jack Slade, 3 1. Jacks give the Saints a dosage of their own medicine. Dave Moylan's first goal this season after a pointless 16 games with Rochester before his advent for the Skipjack hockey scene. Dave Moylan, like J.F. No earlier in this period, on the Jacks' second of three middle period goals, emanated and culminated the scoring play. He acted as the trailer at the center red line on right wing, and he just barged in over that new market line. He fed Sagan, and Sagan slipped it on an excellent effort to the doorstep, and Dave Moylan, really in the crush at the crease, just powered it home. Moylan from Sagan at 13.37, and that goal coming just uh, 49 seconds after Armstrong had notched his 15th from Dahlman and Waslin lifting the Saints to within one at two to one. The Jacks restore their two goal grip on the affair at three to one. All the game scoring crammed into the second period in the last three goals in the span of two minutes and 11 seconds. So we've had a flurry in this sequence. From the face off, puck controlled along the offensive left wing boards, Jack zone by Gerard Waslin. Waslin into the corner for Dolman. Skated off by Hoover, but stripped of the puck by Tim Armstrong, left cornerback for Dolman. Side of the goal for Waslin. Now Waslin bolts to the circle, leaves it left point for Plump with a shot, and he fired it wide to the short side. Rebound behind the goal, dug out by Tim Armstrong. Armstrong overpowered from behind by his namesake, Ian Armstrong, and the Jacks will break out. Jack May out at his own line. In the middle at center for Kennedy, and back for May out at the new market line. Off his stick and behind the goal. Dug out in the new market right wing corner by Plot, his clearing pass halted at center with excellent anticipation by Gagne. He reaches the new market line on right wing and drove it in behind the goal. Hotham directs it around the left wing boards for Waslin, checked by Gagne, pinching in for the steal. Gagne right in front, big candidate through the crease and no fail to convert. Dug out behind the goal by Hotham. Right up the middle at his own line for Tim Armstrong, leading a three-man rush to center. Over the ball's well out of left wing for Plot. And Marty Dahlman is offside at right wing for Newmarket. No further play. 5.05 remaining in what has been a lively and certainly a very exhilarating second period. All four of the game's goals crammed into this stanza, including the last three in a lightning-like sequence, a rapid-fire fashion of 2 minutes and 11 seconds. The Jacks with a well-distributed attack. Keith Miller, J.F. No, and Dave Moylan have been their goal-scoring uh, architects here tonight. From the face-up, Cliff Albrecht, the former Newmarket Saint, dishes right side of the goal for Gagne. Gagne at his own line for Tim Driscoll. Driscoll powers his way to center over the Newmarket line, try to thunder through the defense, squeezed by Stathers back on the Saints. Vlad to center over the ball to the left wing. Working on Gagne, who tumbles. Vlad overpowers him into the corner. Try to center one in front. Blocked by Albrecht. Deflects to the right boards. And Shedden clears the zone. Controlled in Newmarket territory by Stothers. 
evading the check of Miller. Stothers with a feed at center for in a check, shooting, stick save, Bannerman. Murray Bannerman himself scaled it off the boards to his own line for Keith Miller on left wing. Now Miller at center for Shed. Shedden steps it over the new market line, giving it back to Miller. Miller from the top of the slot, fired one wide. Dug out behind the goal by Shedden. Right point for Julian, screen shot, and that was wide. Pucked into the new market right corner. Covering up is Jarvis. Jarvis around the boards at left wing for Johnson. In the middle at center back for Jarvis. Knocked away by Julian for Miller at the new market line with a shot. And this time, Reese brought that one down eye high. And back come the Saints. Mark Curtin at his own line. Curtin at center, dribbles one in on goal. Bannerman secures it for Julian, rounding the net on the right side. Julian in the middle at center for De Palma, threw his legs all the way into the new market zone. Tracked down behind the goal on the Saints defense by Camp Plot, 3.31 for the middle period. Now Plot in the middle, at center for Laxdahl, at the Jacks line on the left wing for a bean. Stripped naked of the puck, beautifully by Julian, who fires down ice and Plot to reach it. Skip Jacks charge for icing. A break of the action, 3.22 left second period. Jacks three, new market one on the Skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Joining you live from the Baltimore Arena, the face-off will occur circle right of Murray Bannerman and the Jacks goal. We want to remind you that Skip Jacks injured defenseman Sean Dedean, one of five hockey-playing sons from the famous Bill Dedean family, will be our special guest. That's coming up live at our second intermission tonight. Now from the face-off, corralled along the Jacks' right boards by Moylan. He drove it to the line. Johnson contains. Johnson on the left point, left it there for Lockstall with a shot just wide of the short side. Rebound up the Jacks right boards for Perkins in his own line. At center for Larry De Palma. Over the new market line. Left circle for Perkins. The big kid. Reese to see. The rebound in the crease. Sagan scores. Steve Sagan. Four to one, Jacks. And very regally screamed three abreast over that new market line on the offensive rush. And Perkins' thrust was halted. Boy, he was robbed by Reese as he poured right in on goal. But the rebound danced in the crease unattended, and it was Sagan a stash at home. Now from the face of Waslin, pours it over the wall the line, left circle, the centering pass, a smothering block by a sprawling Tim Hoover. Puck to the ball to the boards. Now Mayotte up the boards at his own line for an O. No steers in the new market territory. Captured deep in the Saints' right circle by Stothers. Mike Stothers at center for an Allman. Allman darts it up the wall to the line. Muscle down the defense by Hoover. It's loose in front. Oh, Hoover swept it away from Dolman as he was behind Bannerman at the crease. All the way back to center zone. Tim Armstrong controls over the ball to line around Hoover right in front for Dolman. He scores! Marty Dolman and the Jacks lead 4-2. to two. Marty Dolman with his 38th goal of the season and his sixth against the Jacks, that's foremost by any player in this eight-game season series. The former Skip Jack, whose 18 power play goals are foremost in the league, and whose four hat tricks are also tops in the circuit. And boy, they are registering goals fast and furiously here. That's five now in the last six and a half minutes. 
And this time, the two teams exchange goals in a sequence of 48 seconds. Sagan from Perkins and DePalm at 17.04. This will be Dolman from Armstrong at 17.52. And a second assist from Mike Stothers. All the game scoring has been crammed into an electrifying second period, and five of the six goals in this period have occurred in a rapid-fire fashion of six minutes and 26 seconds, the latter two in a sequence of 48 seconds. From the faceoff, puck in behind the Jacks goal for Wayne Gagne, rounding the net on the left side, leaving Scott Clements in his rooster tailing weight. Now Gagne from center circle, drove it behind the new market goal. Covering up is Johnson. Lurking in the shadows there, Driscoll. Forced to leave it to the right side of the goal for Blad. Ryan Blad at center for in a check. He drove it into the ball to the right wing corner. Digging after it is Clements. Crunched by Gagne. Seized along the Jacks left wing boards by Miller. Now Keith Miller. Rink wide on the right side for Gagne. And Wayne Gagne with 124 left in the period. Drifts it into Newmarket territory. They'll control there. Camp Lund on the right defense up the boards at center for in a check. The breakaway pass for Jarvis at the ball to the board line. He couldn't catch up with that. Claude Julian retraces his steps to cover up. He fires down ice, they'll negate icing. Plant rounds the net, sending Shedden sprawling. Plant the center of the ball to the for Jarvis, leaves it on the right side for Inacek, right in front for Wiles with the doorstep for Inacek, he scores! Miroslav Inacek, and suddenly the Jacks lead evaporates to four to three. And the Jacks four to one lead is beginning to melt in the waning moments of uh, this high octane second period that has featured all seven of the game's goals and the last two from Newmarket in the span of a minute and 12 seconds. And this has been one of the Jacks' uh, real Achilles heels this year. They just have not been able to stand prosperity. And Newmarket is coming on strong. Inacek scores the goal. He was wide open in front. Puck is back behind the Jacks. Goal again. Dug out by Moreland. Stolen by Waslin. Waslin trying to bolt in front. Stripped from his stick by Julian. Julian at his own line for Terry Perkins. At center for Sagan over the Newmarket line. Sagan to the right wing boards. Muscled there on the defense by Stollers and the Saints are away. But Sagan stole the outlet pass at center zone by Tim Armstrong. He leaves it on the right boards for De Palma. Larry De Palma outside the new market line. Rolls it gently in behind the goal with 17 seconds remaining in the period. The Jacks looking for the escape hatch. Now De Palma stole the puck right in front of the goal. He fires to the crease. Great save, Reese. And then he robbed Perkins crawling on his back with Perkins and De Palma crashing the crease in a real crush. De Palma was waltzed into the backboards by Camp Blood. And then we have a gathering to the right of those two of feisty customers. Oh my, the Saints defenseman. I believe it was Camp Blood just coughed it up right in front of his own goal. And Perkins and De Palma were both behind Blood, and both of them were stifled at the crease by Reese. That may be a game-saving stop for the Saints. Otherwise, they would have fallen behind again by a pair of goals before this second period concluded. The Jacks have seen a 4-1 to lead wither to 4-3 to in the waning moments of this second period. Now Dave Moylan on left wing at center, fired on goal. The pad saved by Reese. And the second period featuring all seven of the game's goals, including the last six in seven minutes. Moylan is on the scene. Dragged off Istik by Clements right in front for Jarvis streaking the crease, and they fail to connect. Puck can be on the goal. Jarvis has it come back to him. Rolled it in front for Inacek. Slapped away to the left wing boards by Julian and cleared to center by Mayotte where Brian Blad returns it behind the Jacks' goal. Tracked down by Julian. Now Claude Julian at his own line, dashing to center on right wing. He launched one into the new market right wing corner, covering Curtin. Leaving it there for Hotham. Chased him behind the goal by No, who's had a strong game. No pulls down Hotham. 
Then there'll be a skipjacks tripping penalty to J.F. No, who was simply over exuberant, over zealous in his four checking responsibilities at 152. And one has that eerie feeling that the Skipjacks once rather healthy looking four to one lead is growing more and more anemic. No two minutes for tripping at 152. The Saints are 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. They entered tonight's game ranked second in the league in the power play. They were two for four last night on the power play when they dispensed with the Bears right in Hershey five to two. Their second straight win over the Bears during their current three game win scheme. From the face off, Cam Plum will retreat with it behind his own goal. He'll engineer the power play rush. Up on right wing for Hoffman at his own line in the middle at center for Waslin, who darts it over the ball to the line, leaves it back at the right point for Hoffman, and he eludes him to center. Hoffman will recover it there. At the ball to the line for Waslin. That was seized instead by an anticipating Tim Hoover, who drove it back into New Market territory. Hoffman forced all the way back behind the goal by a badgering Wayne Gagne. Now Hotham will start out on left wing in his own line for Waslin. Gerard Waslin from center stroked it into the offensive right wing corner. Dug out by Plot, who was waiting for the carom. Behind the goal for Waslin. Entangled by Hoover, but seized left wing corner. The offensive left corner for Jarvis. Back to the right point for Hotham. Now Hotham holds. Watched by Gagne. Hotham wheels in along the boards. Back to the right point for Plot. Plot try to center one through to the left circle for Dahlman, who finally holds it in at the blue line after it was partially blocked by Perkins. Dahlman tried to angle one into the offensive right wing corner, and Hoover was there anticipating, and Tim Hoover fires it down ice. Controlled at the new market line by Jarvis. In the middle at center for Dahlman, who storms it over the Baltimore line with a shot. Right on. Oh, and Bannerman does the splits and spears that one. No further play. Oh, Murray Bannerman that time with a scintillating save. And Bannerman was very slow, regaining his skates. He does have that tender left hamstring that he has injured a couple of times earlier this season. The faceoff will occur, circle right of Bannerman, Baltimore goal, 40 seconds for the skipjack short-handed quandary and the penalty to no. 16.48 for the third period, which has been the skipjack's demise all season long. They lead it four to three, but they once had constructed a four to one lead. Sagan the face off with Tim Armstrong. One by Sagan, corralled on the right boards by Hoover, leaving it low in the circle for Larry De Palma. And the Skipjack's newest player fires it down ice. Now Camp Plant from behind the goal to operate. He angles it up on right wing at center for Tim Armstrong in full flight. Over the ball to the line, spilled by Hoover along the boards, and he clears the zone for the Jacks. Control by Stothers, chased back into his own zone by the forechecking presence of De Palma, who was persistent on that effort. Forcing it all the way back behind the goal. Stothers for Blad in the middle at center for Bean. Bean over the ball to line, and Derek Laxtall thundering through the defenses offside of the middle lane. No further play. Two. Two seconds and the no penalty. 16-10 for the third period, and the Jacks are two seconds away from disarming an opponent's power play for an 11th consecutive time. The Jacks goal by Steve Sagan at 17.04 of the second period, lifting them into a four to one lead, is the differentiating factor at the moment. Jacks have not won since January 23rd. That's five weeks ago almost, and they haven't won at home in almost six weeks since the last time Newmarket visited on January 10th. Penalty over to Noel. From the faceoff center circle, Clements over the ball and line for a check. In a check, right circle, centered one. Right through the crease, and Clements was checked at the last instant by Gagne. Puck in the left corner. Clements charges after it. Clements at the backboards, muscled in a mighty mood by Gagne. Controlled in the Jacks left corner by Shedden. Shedden up the boards with a breakaway pass at center for Miller, and Johnson stepped in and fired it back behind the goal. Covering there for the Jacks, Albrecht. On left wing in his own line for Steve Sagan, romping to center at the new market line for Shedden. Shedden tried to roll one in front, checked by Curtin. 
Collected at the new market right boards by Brian Bland. Bland's pass halted at center by Albrecht. Now Albrecht on right wing for the Jacks. Backhands behind the new market goal. Scraped off the back boards by Blad with Shedden in pursuit. Brian Blad around the boards on right wing and his whole line for Inacek. Inacek through center. Over the ball to the line. He was entangled by Hoover who poked it back to center zone where Mike Stathers on left wing fires behind the Jacks goal. Kennedy deep in his own left wing corner. Leaves it there for Hoover. Hoover around the boards on left wing for Miller, but stolen by Dolman who stepped in. Dolman behind the goal for Armstrong, right in front for a hop of and he fired it wide. The rebound is fired right through the crease from the left side of the goal by Waslin and Bannerman falling back toward the crossbar inadvertently lifted the goal posts off both of its magnetic moorings. No further play. A break of the action, 14.47 left. Jacks four, Saints three on the skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Ficarelli rejoining you live for the Baltimore Arena. Face-off circle right of Bannerman. Jack School. From the face-off, Ian Armstrong breaks out of the pack fort for the Jacks at center. Over the new market line. Shoots! Oh, just wide. Rebound left corner for Mayap. Mayap behind the goal for an O. He tried to roll one in front. Dolman was there. He sends Tim Armstrong streaking up the left side at center over the Baltimore line with a shot, and he ripped it wide. Rebound along the offensive right wing boards. Hop them. Maintaining control, upended though by Mayotte. Puck squirms into the ball to left corner. They tangle for it there. Still no whistle. Dug out by Dahlman. Dahlman behind the goal for Armstrong. He rolled one in front. Blocked by Julian. Julian on right wing at center for Armstrong. Too far. Controlled all the way back in the new market zone by Stothers. Across on the right defense for Hopham. He steers one to the line and all. Breck was late on the arrival and failed to hold it in at the ball to more left point. No further play. 13.58 left third period. Scoreless in this stanza. All seven of the game's goals literally crammed into that second period. In fact, the latter six in the span of seven minutes and 38 seconds. And they equally divided those three aside. From the faceoff, Terry Johnson at his own blue line on the new market left defense sends it skimming into the Jacks' right corner. Covering up is Cliff Albrecht. Albrecht up the middle at center for Larry De Palma off his stick into the new market zone. Terry Johnson controls at center for Jarvis for Inacek. Over the ball and roll out at left wing for Clements. He centered one right to the crease and it deflected off the stick of Perkins right on goal. And Bannerman made the save and the Jacks are away. Now Perkins storms to center over the new marker line. He tried to pour through the defense and Johnson rode him off. Trailing Gagne right point. He turned it over though to Jarvis. Jarvis for the Saints at center for in a check. His left wing pass for Jarvis at the Baltimore line deflected back into the Jacks right corner by Gagne. Now Gagne at his own line. Wayne Gagne at center. Rolls it delicately in the new market zone. The Jacks complete their change. St. Soway, Bean at his own line to center. Tim Bean on left wing, shoots. Bannerman kicks that one into the ball to more right corner. Dug out there by Kennedy, jammed by Bean, but Kennedy overpowers him. Up the right boards for Shedden at his own line, rolling it to center. Blant's pass halted at center by Shedden. Doug Shedden over the new market line for Hoover, falling on right wing. On his knees, Hoover ladled it in behind the new market goal where Blad was spilled by Miller. Seized left wing boards by Shedden. Shedden had it poked off his stick by Laxdahl and Blad clears the zone. Bob Kennedy on the right side for the Jacks. Returns it into new market territory from center. Shedden steals that one along the right wing corner boards from Blad. Shedden swooping in behind the goal. Curtain draped over his back. Shedden overpowers him. And Doug Shedden for the left wing board centered it. Curtain in front blocked it and fired the center where Dave Boylan drove it in front of the new market goal. Cut off by Hotham on the defense. Hotham in the middle at center for the Saints. Now Curtain drove it in behind the goal. Bannerman out of the goal, steers it around the right wing boards for Doug Shedden. 
and Shen sends the puck bouncing into new market territory. They'll control their stylers at his own line. Wrapped it off the left wing boards, down ice. They'll negate icing as Bannerman played it. His pass along the boards, halted right corner by Dolman who was lying in wait. Right in front for Waslin with a shot, he scores! Gerard Waslin and the Saints have come all the way back and tied it 4-4. Marty Dolman was lying in wait deep in the offensive right wing corner when Bannerman stepped out to clear. And Dolman was there to seize it. And he centered one in front and Gerard Waslin whistles at home at 8.20 and the Jacks 4-1 lead has completely vanished. It's a 4-4 tie. That's Waslin's 24th goal of the season, his first against the Jacks. Marty Dolman again with another point on the assist. Dolman with three more points tonight. He has just been on a scoring rampage. Waslin from Dolman, the latter has a goal and two assists tonight. Gerard Waslin also with a goal and two assists. Now from the faceoff, Dolman over the ball board line. From the top of the slot with a shot, it didn't make it through. Knocked down in front by Gagne. Controlled back at the blue line by Tim Armstrong. He was tripped at center point by Jacques Mayotte. And there'll be a Baltimore tripping penalty to Mayotte as the door is beginning to lose its hinges again. In a fateful final frame for the Jacks that has seen them out goal 28 to 6 in the third period, including this third period goal by Waslin during this heinous 13 game winless skid. May had two minutes for tripping at 8.48. That penalty occurring just 28 seconds after Newmarket had completed the erasing of their three goal deficit. The face side will be circle left of Bannerman Jack's goal. 11-12 remaining. Newmarket with its second straight power play of the period and its fourth of the night. They're 0 for 3. But this would be a grand opportunity to stage a breakthrough. It's a 4-4 tie. Face off left of Bannerman, Jack's goal. Perkins and Dahlman will be the principals. And that Marty Dahlman is having a career year this season, yet he has never been recalled by Parent Club Toronto. And that remains a mystery. The Leafs claiming that Dolman is just too small for the NHL. Dolman won the faceoff. Back to the right point for Cam Plant to hold it in. Along the boards for Waslin. Waslin through the circle, side of the goal for Jarvis. He tried to center one quickly in front for Dolman, muffled by Hoover, but contained on the left point by Hoffman. Hoffman wheels at center point. Top of the left circle for Dolman. Back center point for Greg Hoffman. Top of the right circle for Blad. Center point for Hoffman with a shot, and he fired it wide. Rebound into the right corner for Dolman. Back to the right point for Cam Plot. Now Plot wheels at center point. Left circle for Hoffman with a shot. Kicked out by Bannerman. Rebound behind the goal for Waslin. He centered one to the left circle for Plot. Now Plot right in front for Jarvis. He shoots right on. And Bannerman the save as he squeezes it between the pads with Tim Hoover toppling in front of him. 10.25 for the third period. 1.13 remaining in this very formidable looking new market power play as the Saints attempt to capture their first lead of the night. They have trailed throughout. This is the first time that they have deadlocked it. Face-off circle right of Bannerman, who's been brilliant in the Jacks' goal tonight. But the third period again, the Jacks seem to be running on empty by the time the third period arrives. And that perhaps is a reflection of how far the talent runs, how deep the talent runs on this skipjack team. Sagan, Dolman on the faceoff circle right of Bannerman. All ready to go. Waiting for the linesman. Crucial faceoff. Won by Dolman. Contained on the left point by Hotham. Although on the boards for Waslin. Waslin from the circle shoots right through the crease. Deflects to the right point. Plot to hold it in as he forearm lustily by De Palma. Center point for Hotham. He sends a plot chasing it down in the left corner. Now Plant left point for Hoppum. Hoppum holds at center point. Now top of the circle for Plant. Plant shoots Bannerman the save. Rebound behind the goal. Julian's pass halted left wing boards by Plant. 
All the way across to the right boards for Waslin. Stolen by De Palma, who explodes to center over the new market line. Left circle. Shooting. Kicked out by Reese as Sagan was streaking by the doorstep for the rebound. Back on the Saints, Waslin to center, storming it over the ball to the line. He wheels on the right wing boards. Pirouettes across left point for Stothers. Behind the goal for Jarvis. It jumped off his stick into the ball to the left corner. Hoover is on it. And Tim Hoover with 14 seconds left in the Newmarket power play. Fires it down ice. Controlled in front of the goal by the goaltender himself, Reese. Hiding it away from the onrushing Ian Armstrong, depositing it at right corner for Stothers. In the middle at center for Curtin behind him. Skids down ice, hurrying after it behind the Jacks goal. Julian on the touch. Penalty over to Mayotte. Newmarket charge with icing. A break of the action. 9.09 left. Jacks four. Saints four on the skip. Jacks hockey network. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live from the Baltimore Arena. 9.09 left, face-off circle left. Of the goaltender, Jeff Reese. J.F. No for the Jacks, who's been a standout tonight. And Mark Curtin for the Saints on the face-off. One by Curtin. Behind the goal, controlled by Plot, stolen by No. No, rolled one in front, and the ever-present Mark Curtin was there. Curtin around the left wing boards for a bean. Squeezed by Ian Armstrong, forced in the issue. No wraps up Stothers from behind. And in that uh, pile that stopped moving, the whistle sounds, no further play. They were really pile driving along the boards in a rather, shall we say, a bumping and grinding spirit. Bumping and grinding mode, perhaps, would be more appropriate there. Face off will be barely inside the arc of the circle. Left of Reese, new market goal, 8.54 left. 4-4 tie. Jacks once led it 4-1. The Gerard Waslin goal at 8.20, the third period, the lone goal of the period, forcing the deadlock. No and Curtin on the faceoff. One by uh, Curtin, and from the top of the right circle, Mike Stothers flings it down ice. Touched up in the left corner by Albrecht at a rising snow shower, but no icing called. Stolen, side of the goal by Laxdahl. He slips in behind the goal, draped over his back. Albrecht and the Jacks are away. He had Armstrong at his own line in the middle at center for No. J.F. No dashing in over the new market line, right in front for Armstrong. He was skated off by Curtin, who shoved Armstrong into the goal post, lifting the net off at both of its moorings behind Reese. No further play. Now at center ice. Jacques May out at close quarters with Brian Blad occurring at center circle, and the linesmen are there to intervene. 8.28 left. It's a 4-4 tie from the Baltimore Arena. We want to remind you again of the Skipjacks Booster Club's annual bull roast. It is coming up Saturday night from 8 p.m. until 1 a.m. at the, at the uh, Fontam Blue on Erdman Avenue in Baltimore. Now, tickets will be available at the door. Don't miss it. There'll be a live band dancing, a scrumptious buffet. All the Skipjacks players will be there as well. That's the Skipjacks Booster Club's annual bull roast, and it's coming up Saturday night from 8 p.m. until 1 a.m. The Jacks are idle tomorrow night and Saturday night. They'll complete this brief two-game work week Sunday night back here at home at the Baltimore Arena, 7 o'clock date with Northern Division leading Fredericton and it's Skipjacks camera night. From the faceoff, inside the Jacks line, Moylan on the left defense, eases one up at center. For De Palma, knocked back into the Baltimore zone, though, by Hotham. Low in the right circle. Claude Julian will collect it and sweep it down ice as Gary Madsen toppled the lines, but at the new market line. From in front of the new market goal, Hotham, a breakaway pass at center for Inner Check over the Baltimore line. He's in on goal. The shot, a great save by Bannerman. And Claude Julian goes crashing into his own goal post behind the sprawl Bannerman. Lifting the net from its moorings all the way to the backboards. No further play as Miroslav Inacek that time burst in behind the ball to board defense at center ice. And in solo flight, he was robbed by Murray Bannerman, who may have rescued his mates from dire straits there with 7.55 remaining for regulation time. And the Jacks now trying to nurse a 4-4 tie. 
after failing to secure a 4-1 to one lead. In this third period, the Jacks have only one shot on goal. Newmarket has seven. That has been the tail of the tape for the Jacks during this abominable losing skid. From the faceoff, won by Perkins. Claim for the defense behind the goal by Bob Kennedy. On right wing, it is all for Driscoll. He just cushions the puck all the way to the new market line, controlled by Hotham. Up the right boards at center for Dahlman, and he loads into the ball to the board line where Tim Hoover sends it, skipping to center zone. And from center circle, Terry Johnson just launches one into the ball to board penalty box. And that had the always capable off ice official doing a low bridge ducking routine. And we're awaiting for the official judging from our panel of judges located in the second row there as far as technique is concerned and agility on that ducking routine by the off-ice uh, the, the, uh, off official. And I don't think it quite makes a bronze medal, maybe a copper one. Now from the faceoff, Jack threw away at their own line, Sagan. In the middle at center for Shadnu, barrels it over the new market line, right circle for Sagan, leaving it on the boards for Miller. Miller right in front for Shin, and he ripped it wide. Rebound up the right boards for Dahlman. Marty Dahlman's pass halted at center by Shed, but trailing at center circle this plot. He does a spin around and whipped one in on goal. Bannerman caught it. Left it behind the goal for Kennedy, who turned it over in the corner to Tim Armstrong. His centering pass, and Kennedy recovered and knocked it away. It skids back behind the goal, and Dolman has it again. Dolman centers it. Right pass, Plon at the right point, down ice. Kyle Camp, Plon high steps it for it behind his own goal in pursuit, Miller. Now Plot right up the middle at his own line for Kurt on right wing at center. Relaxed all round into the ball to line with a shot right on. Stick save Bannerman. The rebound right corner for Curtin. Curtin centered it. Blocked in front by Gagne. Gagne for the Jacks. At center for Shedden and back for Gagne over the new market line. Leaving it for Shedden and back for Gagne. Top of the right circle. He rolled it right in on goal. Reached the save with Shedden cruising the crease. Puck in front of the Saints goal, and Greg Hoffman inadvertently sails one into his own bench at center ice below us. No further play. A break of the action, 6-13 left. Jacks 4, Newmarket 4 on the Skip Jacks Hockey Network. Interesting, isn't it? Really, it is. Now from the faceoff, controlled along the new marker right wing boards by Derek Laxtall in the St. Sir way. Laxtall in the middle at center for Curtin. At the ball board line on left wing for Tim Bean. That's offside as Eod Armstrong was just draped over the back of Tim Bean in a very aggressive uh, back-checking maneuver. Boy, Armstrong was really uh, bruising Mr. Bean from behind. 6.03 left, 4-4 tie. Face off outside the Baltimore blue line. J.F. Dope for the Jacks, one of their four goal-getters tonight. Keith Miller's third, Steve Sagan's 13th, Dave Moylan's first, the others. He was in the face of a curtain. No will control them. J.F. No on right wing at center. Backhanding behind the new market goal. Reese out of the goal at the backboards. Drove it around the boards. Armstrong blocked it. Right in front for Mayan. Shooting. What a save by Reese. Covering behind the goal is Laxtall around the left wing boards for Bean. Stolen by Kennedy. Kennedy storms in behind the goal. Left it there for No. Now J.F. No from behind the goal. Centered it. Armstrong was checked in front by Hoppum. Deflects on the new market left wing boards. Bean crunched robustly by Mayock. Right in front for Ian Armstrong with a shot. Blocked by a sprawling Greg Hoppum all the way to center zone. Control by Mayotte. He hits the new market line. Pulls up on the right boards. The shot knocked out in the circle by Bland. And on the deflection, no 
fired. The save by Reese. No has the rebound right corner. All the way across to the left wing boards for Albrecht. Barging in from the point. Albrecht's backhander is right on. And Reese scoops it up at the crease with Driscoll and No having him surrounded with their bayonets drawn dynamically and dangerously. 4.58 remaining third period it's a 4-4 tie and now the Jacks appear to be gathering some uh, second wind here in the waning moments of regulation these two teams have tied twice this season both occurring in Newmarket where the Jacks were unbeaten in their last three starts with those two ties and a victory Perkins and Jarvis on the faceoff circle right of Reese Newmarket goal Larry De Palma arranges the ball to board. Trigger man arc of the circle over Perkins' right shoulder. One by Perkins. Didn't make it though to Dahlman. Cut off by Inacek who stepped in, deflecting it to his own right wing boards where Jarvis rolls it down ice. Albrecht to reach it behind the Jacks goal and Newmarket is charged for icing. 4.49 remaining for regulation time. It's a 4-4 tie. The Jacks have been limited to a paltry three shots on goal in this third period. Entering tonight's game, the Jacks have been out goal 27 to six in that fateful final frame during this 13 game winless skid. They've lost a franchise record nine in a row at home. Perkins and Jarvis on the faceoff right of Reese. One by Jarvis, behind the goal for Johnson, flinging it around the left wing boards for Clements, seized by De Palma who intruded. De Palma behind the goal for Perkins, rubbed out robustly by Jarvis. Jarvis clearing pass at his own line for Clements. Clements sends Stathers on his way on left wing at center. And as Stathers reaches the ball to the line, he just steered it in behind the goal. Bannerman drove it around the boards. Blocked right point by Johnson. Behind the goal for Jarvis. Right in front for Clements. And it deflected off Gagne right into the crease. And Murray Bannerman pounced on top of that one energetically. And Bannerman just glares at Gagne. And now the two engage in a brief confab to the right side of the Jacks' crease. Murray Bannerman, I believe, was a rather displeased with Gagne's defensive effort in guarding the goal crease, which, of course, is always the goaltender's divine province. 4.21 remaining for regulation time, and it's a 4-4 tie. We've seen very little of Chuck Brimmer tonight, perhaps to three shifts, and when one of those... It may have uh, resulted in one of the new market goals, and he misplayed a clearing pass along the Baltimore right wing boards, and it resulted in a new market goal after the Jacks had gained a 2-0 lead, and that swung the momentum to new market because at that time the Saints appeared to be in a deep sleep. From the faceoff, Dolman won it to the left point for Plot. Plot sailed it in behind the Jacks goal, digging in after it right corner Armstrong. He drove it around the backboards to an open wing, and Moylan will control. Dave Moylan for the Jacks from his own line. Moylan at center, drove it into the new market right corner. Reese steps out, leaving it there for Hotham, evading the check of Shedden. Now Greg Hotham is underway at his own line. The former skipjack at center sends it in behind the Baltimore goal. Tracked down by Moylan. Dave Boylan drove it around the boards, blocked at the right point by Hotham, shooting right on. And Bannerman grabs that one with Tim Armstrong really lurking dangerously on the doorstep. Waslin and Dolman were also there. 3.48 remaining for regulation time. The Jacks 4, Newmarket 4 on the Skip Jacks Hockey Network. From the faceoff, control behind the Jacks goal by Big Bob Kennedy. On right wing at his own line for Driscoll. At center for Terry Perkins. Across on the left side from the trailer, Tim Hoover. Hoover from center, drove it into the new market left corner. On it is Plot at his own line for Armstrong. Up on left wing at center for Waslin. Ahead now with Baltimore line for Plot. Skated off by Perkins, trailing Armstrong over the Baltimore line. Left circle for Dolman. Right in front for Waslin and a jump over a stick with Bannerman sprawling across the open side of the crease. Back on the Jacks, De Palma at center over the Newmarket line for Perkins.
hands and he ripped it wide. Rebound to the left boards. De Palma checked by Dolman, who leads a three-man rush to center for the Saints. Dolman over the ball the line, left circle for Waslin, who wheels right in on goal with a shot. Oh, the save by Bannerman. Rebound on the ball to the right circle, control by De Palma at center for Terry Perkins, storming it over the new market line. Dropped it right circle for De Palma, the shot right on. And resealed the angle expertly and sprawls out it. No further play. As that time it was Perkins and De Palma executing as they crossed the new market line on right wing. 2.49 remaining for regulation time. And we're locked in 4-4 warfare. Face off circle left of the goaltender Jeff Reese. Stay tuned for the Skip Jacks post game show right after tonight's action. Jacks will host Fredericton after tonight's action right here at the Baltimore Arena. Not until Sunday night, though, 7 o'clock face off. Everyone invited to bring their cameras and come on down to the ice after the game to snap photographs and gather autographs of their favorite Jacks. From the faceoff, Tim Bean breaks out of the pack at center over the ball to a line. He streaks through the left circle, and he's chopped down by the victimized defenseman Wayne Gagne. And with 2.41 remaining, Gagne will be chased for tripping. And new market will be presented its third straight power play of the third period. And the natives are growing restless now at the Baltimore Arena. And the Skipjacks coaching staff of GM coach Gene Ubriaco and his assistant Steve Carlson visibly distressed over that call. The Skipjacks have ingested all three of the penalties in this third period. Tim Bean that time was just racing in over the Baltimore line at left wing. He gained the stride on Gagne through that circle on the left side and Gagne had to reach back and undercut he chopped down being as if he were a tall timber and the Saints are presented their fifth power play of the night and their third consecutively in this third period they have the only goal in this period Waslin from Dolman at 820 and that brought them all the way back from the 4-1 to deficit face off circle right of Bannerman Dolman and Perkins, the principals, all ready to go. Sticks come down, one by Dolman, taken at the left point by Hopham. Along the boards for Waslin, side of the goal for Wa for Dolman. He centered it right through the crease, and Jarvis was shouldered by Julian before he could connect. And Julian waltzes it to the backboards and pins it with his skate. No further play. And Claude Julian that time with a superb defensive move, guarding that open side of the crease masterfully in front of his goaltender. As Dolman from the side of the goal tried to uh, center one right through the crease, and before Jarvis could lay a stick on it, he was shouldered rather lustily by the Julian jolt. 2.28 remaining, 1.47 for the Gagne penalty. Newmarket has the second best power play in the circuit, two for four, and their victory at Hershey last night, 25% on the season entering tonight's game at 77 for 308. The Jacks penalty killers are ranked last in the circuit, but including tonight's game, they blanked the opponents in their last 12 opportunities, spanning three games. All ready to go, face off circle left to Batterman. Perkins for the Jacks, Dolman, the ever dangerous one for the Saints. Dolman and Waslin each with a goal and two assists tonight for the visitors. Waiting for the linesman, Steve Miller. Sticks come down. One by Perkins, try to guide it with his skate to the top of the circle where Sagan rolls it down ice. Now Reese will hide it away from the unrushing Sagan, tucking it in behind the goal for Hotham. Greg Hotham, new engineer, the new market power play rush. Hotham through center, winds it around the Baltimore backboards. Digging it after down the right side is Jarvis. Now Jarvis trying to poke it into the corner for Waslin. Contained instead on the right point by Plump. Now Cam Plump along the boards for Waslin, thundering through the circle, shooting! Knocked down by Hoover. Hoover has it caught in his midsection, and he'll skate it to the corner boards and lock it up there. No further play. 154 left and 113 for the new market power play. It's Jacks 4, Saints 4. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Baltimore Skip Jacks Hockey Network.
Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live with a rather tense, taut, fraught Baltimore Arena. Face-off circle left to Bannerman. Dahlman won it this time from Perkins. Right point for Plant. Left point for Hopham. Top of the right circle for Plant. He fired right off the skate of Waslin in the circle, right to the crease, and Bannerman the save, and he'll hold on. That time from the top of the right circle, the Plant shot, uh, pinballed off the right skate blade of Gerard Waslin, who was low in the circle, down low in that circle, and it just skittered into the crease, and Bannerman pounced on top of that one. Still 105 for the power play and 146 for regulation. It's a 4-4 draw, and they'll draw for it left of Bannerman. Perkins and Dolman one more time. One by Dolman. Sees Dolman on the boards, right side by Tim Armstrong. Armstrong swooping in behind the goal. Pulls up. Tim Armstrong still has it. Back to the right point for Plot. Plot along the boards for Armstrong. Armstrong fired it through the crease. Dolman failed to convert. He was checked there by Hoover. Dolman seals it though in the left circle, shooting a rising shot. Bannerman a chest save. Rebound right wing boards for Tim Armstrong. Armstrong into the circle. Dishes right corner for Derek Laxdahl. Laxdahl checked by Julian McContain. Right point by Plant into the corner for Armstrong. Right in front for Hotham. Hotham shoots Bannerman the save. Action halted. Hoover and Dahlman collided at the crease, lifting the net off its moorings again. No further play. 27 seconds for the power play. And it has been menacing. 108 for regulation. 4 for the score. And the faceoff will be circle right of Bannerman in the Jack School. In this third period, the Saints have 12 shots and the Jacks have four. And Newmarket has the only goal and they've had the only three power plays in this stanza. Faceoff will be circle right of Bannerman in the skip Jack goal. Newmarket has won three in a row, matching their season high. They have won two straight on the road. They have eight road wins this season. One of them came here in Baltimore, and their only victory here in three prior appearances. Sagan the face out with Jarvis. It is a critical one for the defensively minded Jacks. A false start at the Baltimore right boards. All ready to go with take two. One by Jarvis, center point. Stothers fired at the goal post. The rebound is in front. The shot by the by Lexton. He scores. Derek Laxdahl with a minute left, and the Saints take their first lead of the night, 5-4. Oh, my. The point shot clanged off the post and skidded in front, and Derek Laxdahl stashed it behind Bannerman with one minute left. Do you believe it? Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Four unanswered goals by the Saints, including Two in a third period that has just been the Skipjack's downfall time and time again this season. And the Saints strike on their fifth power play opportunity of the night and their third in a row in the third period with one minute left. Laxdahl 17th and his first against the Jacks and it's 5-4 to market. Tell you, there better be an investigation soon. No team can have this kind of luck for a full 80 game schedule. Boy, I'll tell you, whenever there's going to be paybacks, are they going to be sweet for the Jacks? One of these days. Laxdahl from Stothers at Armstrong. It was the Stothers point shot that rattled off the post. Here's No over the Newmarket line. He's jerked down on the defense, and finally a Newmarket penalty with 30 seconds remaining for hooking. The Saints' penalty box door swings open, and it awaits the arrival of the new market centerman, Mark Curtin, at 19.30. With 30 seconds remaining, general manager coach Gino Briaco will diagram a play at the Baltimore bench with Murray Bannerman lifted for the sixth attacker, giving the Skipjacks two additional forwards. Oh, my. Another character builder here tonight, isn't it? I don't think any of us have ever seen a season quite like this one. Baltimore Skipjacks coach Gene Ubriaco will spend this 30-second timeout. The Jacks had a 4-1 lead with 2.56 remaining late in the second period. Since then, the wheels have come off. 
and Newmarket aided by three consecutive power play opportunities in the third period, finally capitalized on the last one in the last minute, with one minute remaining to capture its first lead of the night at five to four. I'll tell you, this season even defies a fairy tale book. It just defies fairy tales this season. So the Skipjacks will have power play time. It's only their third of the night. And their first since way back at 425 of the second period. The Jacks have not scored on the power play in their last 27 opportunities spanning seven games. They trail five to four. They have a four game unbeaten streak on the line against Newmarket and it's now in serious jeopardy. Mesa will be barely inside the rim of the circle right of Reese Newmarket goal. The net is empty to our right. The Skipjacks will have six attackers streaming in that new market zone. Perkins and Dolman again on the faceoff. Now Shedden and Jarvis leaning on each other. On the ball to the left wing. That's a false start. And we'll try it again. Perkins and Dolman with a half minute remaining. Sticks come down. Puck not dropped. Jarvis again over eager in his checking of Shedden. One by Dolman and Marty Dolman fires it down ice. Hurrying after this Keith Miller behind the empty net with 22 seconds left. Now Miller leads in the middle at center for Terry Perkins over the new market line for Shedden on the right side. Shedden charges into the corner behind the goal for Perkins. Leaving it there for Sagan right in front of the crease for Perkins to the doorstep for Dol De Palma. And someone just shanked the net off its moorings. Oh my. Just as the Skipjacks are ready to score, and I think there's going to be a new market penalty. Is it a penalty or a penalty shot? That's the question now. Someone has been accused there was a new market player in that furious scramble at the crease that, that lifted the net off its moorings to quell the Skipjack attack. Larry De Palma was set to bat home the bouncing puck into the net as it was bouncing through the crease. I believe a penalty shot has been awarded the Skipjacks with eight seconds remaining in regulation time. Eight seconds remaining in regulation time and a penalty shot has been awarded the Skipjacks because a new market player, and we're not certain who it was because there was such a pileup at the crease with that puck kangarooing crazily. Someone from the Saints just lifted the net off both of its moorings to prevent what appeared to be a Larry De Palma game tying goal. Keith Miller has been designated to shoot the penalty shot by coach Gene Ubriaco. This is the Jacks' first penalty shot of the season. All the Skipjack crowd stands in unison. What drama, what suspense and theater with eight seconds remaining. The Jacks trail five to four. They're awarded a penalty shot here. Keith Miller who scored the first Skipjack goal of the night back at 157 in the second period to give the Jacks a 1-0 lead. Now Miller is ready, waiting for the referee, Paul Stewart's whistle. It sounds. Miller is underway at center. Keith Miller over the new marker line, going right in on goal. He's good to Keith Miller with eight seconds left. The Jacks tie it on the penalty shot, 5-5. Second goal of the night, triggering the tremors here. As this Skipjacks crowd absolutely erupts volcanically. Miller on the successful penalty shot with eight. Count him. Eight seconds remaining in regulation time. And the Skipjacks should still have power play time. They still had. 
power play time for a minute 30, but the penalty box door is has been open and Tim Bean has been released. I don't understand this one at all. I mean, Newmarket should still be shorthanded, the way I interpret the rule book. Apparently not so. Apparently that is deemed a power play goal on the penalty shot by Miller. Skipjack's coach, Gene Ubriaco, wants an explanation. He has summoned Captain Doug Shedden to the bench. And now he returns Shedden to the referee, Paul Stewart. Well, someone better bring out the rule book. We thought the Skipjacks would still have power play time. Apparently the power play, the power play ends on a penalty shot by Keith Miller when the Jacks had the man advantage. Most importantly, the Jacks have gained the deadlock, halting the hemorrhaging after four consecutive new market goals had wiped out a Baltimore four to one lead. And Keith Miller has been the Skipjack scoring hero tonight. Boy, what drama and suspense here from the faceoff. Both teams at full strength. Puck at center zone. Jarvis on the left boards. Just sends it down ice. The horn sounds. We're heading for overtime. After Keith Miller's late scoring heroics on the penalty shot with eight seconds remaining in regulation time. And it's a 5-5 tie. We're full. Decision by the Jacks' longtime popular mentor as Miller in singular flight just zoomed in over the new market line and it was really a blazing shot as he rattled it upstairs for his second of the night, his fourth of the season, and three of those against New Market on the penalty shot, and apparently that's a power play goal at 1952. So both teams earn one point through the regulation tie. These two teams have already tied twice this season. Newmarket has eight ties, same number as the Jacks. Jacks, one of only two teams in the circuit without a loss in overtime. Newmarket has suffered a league-high four overtime defeats. From the faceoff, Terry Johnson in front of his own goal for the Saints. Ahead for Marty Dahlman at center. Dahlman's pass knocked down by Albrecht as Miller dumped Armstrong at the Baltimore line on right wing. And from center zone, Mike Stollers drove it into skipjack territory. And as that puck was caroming around the backboards, Banner, uh, Bannerman stepped out, and he inadvertently deflected it off his stick over the glass into the crowd. So that'll prompt the face-off circle right of Bannerman with 4.43 remaining for overtime, and it's a 5-5 tie. I'll tell you, this has really been a very entertaining hockey game tonight. Certainly an inspired performance by the Jacks. Lots of inspiration, lots of perspiration. And the Jacks, winless in their last 13 games, they've lost nine straight at home, right back in this one. They spooned for a while before they gained the equalizer with great drama here. Perkins and Dolman again on the faceoff. Right of Banderman, all ready to go. Waiting for the linesman, Steve Miller. They draw swords, one by Dolman. He was really a uh, topple though in the dot in the circle by Perkins who sends Larry De Palma bursting to center. De Palma over the new market line. He's ready to goal to the crease for Gagne. He scores! Wayne Gagne wins it in overtime. 6-0. to 